When we think of British monarchs throughout history, we picture a reserved ruler with a stiff upper lip and a certain sense of dignity. Queen Elizabeth is a perfect example of this, with her tempered smiles and polite waves. However, you don't tend to think about these rulers on the toilet or accidentally blowing up themselves with cannons in a bid to impress a girl. Yet, as history has shown us, British monarchs have died in all sorts of embarrassing ways, and the stories are so graphic that they don't even tell them in school. 1. Scotland's King Alexander III insisted one night on making a solo trek to return to his wife, Yoland, after a time away. Unfortunately for all parties involved, he was thrown from his horse and instantly killed. 2. While out hunting with a group of his peers, King William II, son of William the Conqueror, was accidentally shot and killed by his friend who was clearly a lackluster huntsman. Everyone panicked, with a friend taking off, and his other compatriots fled back to the castle. William rotted for several days until they came back. 3. King George V was dying slowly from pulmonary failure. When the end was near, his doctor killed him by injecting him with cocaine and morphine. His reason for offing the leader of the nation? It was all about timing, if the king died in the morning, his death would feature in the morning papers, not the evening ones. 4. King James II of Scotland was killed by his own cannon, which he decided to stand close to and fire to impress his lady love. His thigh was cut right in half and he bled out immediately. 5. William the Conqueror conquered all sorts of things, like the Saxons. But while on the battlefield, his horse stopped abruptly, jamming the king's innards against his saddle and rupturing his guts. Yes, he was murdered by his horse. 6. King George II died the way he lived, with thirty known mistresses and on the toilet after a terrible bout of constipation. 7. King John's greatest contribution to history was being the architect of the Magna Carta in 1215. His second greatest achievement was eating a barrel of peaches while lost in the woods and defecating himself to death. 8. King James I's death at first glance seems incredibly noble, he died after being attacked by a bevy of stab-happy assassins. But a little research makes his death slightly more cringworthy. Yes, he was stabbed to death by assassins, who chased him into the feces-filled sewer where he had decided to hide in his pajamas. Nine. King Henry I ate a lamprey, a parasitic fish that is known to bring harm to humans. 10. Henry VIII is known as the despotic ginger-haired, heavy-set monarch who loved a good wedding, or six. But in his prime, the man was an avid sportsman and considered to be quite dashing. Towards the end of his life, that was not the case. He weighed over 400 pounds and had a permanently leaching leg ulcer, bed sores and all manner of other ailments. His coffin was lined with lead, but that did not prevent his corpse from imploding and leaking out kingly juices onto the streets. Now there's something your high school history teacher never told you. Here's to living in a day and age when death by horse is far less common. Share these stories with your friends below. Subscribe for more.